Today we take a look at a very interesting question. What did German U-Boat aces actually think about this boat? Now first off we need to clear this up. What is this boat? Because there was a book, then there was a movie and there was a short TV series. In this case we are mainly referring to the book. And the books, the view on the books were very, very varied and very interesting. And we have opinions from a wide range of the top U-Boat aces, including Otto Kramtrimer, who was basically the leader with most tonnage sunk. Of course, there's always some discussion going on, so take it with, with a grain of salt. Then Erich Topp at basically number four, according to U-Boat.net. Then Karl Freinrich Merten at around 0.7 and Jürgen Osten, which about also 29 and then Reinhard Reche at around 80. So depends. And as mentioned, the opinions vary quite widely. And the guy at number four, basically Erich Topp was most, most positive and the most enthusiastic supporter of the author and of his book. And he said, okay, it's mostly authentic. There were minor technical details, but for the most, it was a well-made representation of the whole issue. Austin, for instance, was also favorable. He said, it's a good book, but it's written from an amateur. So then there was Reche, and he said, basically, it's a good atmosphere, but there are way too many. The language is way too foul. And some incidents, for instance, for the movie, quite many had a, had this real problem with with all I think with the initial drinking scene and everything and and the women involved and everything they were like okay guys no that's a bit overblown so they were usually quite on this part most were okay that's a bit overblown and but for instance Krebschma who was number one he said well it's a fictional account this guy has no experience with the enemy and it's basically fantasy and but yet the most negative was Karl Friedrich Merten. He viciously attacked the author again and again and all, all his publications. And because Buchheim, the author of the book, also did several um, non-fiction books on, on the U-Boat warfare. And, and basically, I think Merten at one point said, oh, it's a good book for, for children about submarines and, and they called each other and yeah. And in overall, from the U-boat commanders, there were basically three groups. The one who were okay with criticism and negative mentions about the U-boat warfare. Then there were the self-critics who also criticized the Kriegsmarine and the whole U-boat warfare themselves. And then there were the defenders who didn't let anything negative said be about the U-boat warfare, about Dönitz, the admiral, and the, later the... the the commander-in-chief of the Kriegsmarine. So there were basically these three groups. Now, we also need to take a look why this to a certain degree happened. And this also comes to the author Buchheim. He was for, for the U-Boat Waffe basically an outsider. And he was also easy to anger. So he picked fights quite a lot. And, and he was very vulgar and everything. So. Generally, not very much people got along well with him from what I read up. And of course, this is an excellent person for promoting a book or a movie usually because you, you get headlines with that. And they also considered him not a working member. So, but Buchheim actually had some experience. He was on three war patrols in the war. And the book is basically based on one patrol that happened. But there was not much action there. And basically what all the U-boat commanders say, he's an amateur, he was a passenger and not part of the crew. And this is the very important point. And when Buchheim wrote his non-fiction books, he wrote we. So he basically claimed I was part of the U-boat warfare. And this didn't get very well long. Now to quote from the book directly. Some U-Boat Waffe veterans have accused him of lying to suit himself. Others equally qualified to judge admire his accuracy and defend him. His books provide a good description as any of life in the U-Boat Waffe at the height of the Battle of the Atlantic. Some have criticized him for pretending to be someone he's not, a soldier and a comrade. 
Now there's another very important point here. Without Buchheim, also some of his critics later on noted, okay, without Buchheim, there would never have been such a mass market appeal for Jubert Warfare probably. Because there were books before him out there and they usually sold in the thousands, but his book I think sold in the millions. So without him, the Jubert Warfare probably would never have been that important in, in the public perception and everything. And, but what I find really important here is be precise in your speech because, because he claimed we or he stated we these people got to a certain degree rightfully angry because well he was mainly a passenger. He did his job and if he probably made this clear maybe less people would have been offended of course maybe less publicity and this is also the reason for instance why I always state that I was a conscript. I was drafted when I talk about my military service. Because many people are there and they are volunteers. I probably wouldn't have gone through boot camp. I, I probably would have never joined. Very likely I would have never joined the military if it was volunteers only. And I probably would have dropped out of boot camp at some point if it was volunteer only. I did very badly in the boot camp, not before. But this is very important. Be very careful what you claim or what you use. What words do you use? Do you say we? Or do you say them? Or do you say, okay, I was in the military? Yeah, or yeah, volunteer or not. I mean, if you're in the United States, it's pretty clear you're a volunteer. But for, for instance, when you talk in, with, a, with someone from America and you said you're in the military, they usually probably assume that you are there voluntary. But for instance, if you come from a country where it's conscription, and you can't get out of there, then they might get a false impression. And so I'm very keen on this, getting this stuff right, because I don't claim that I did something I did not. Now, a big thank you here to Naval Institute Press for providing a complimentary copy of Wolf, U-Boot Commanders in the Second World War, where most of the information is taken out of. And I hope you enjoyed this short episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.